Hi, and welcome to the first UOW update of 2013. As you can see, O Week is well underway. I'm Jacob Evans. The university's scientific research facility ACES has joined with manufacturing body CRC in a partnership of research and industry focused on producing innovative medical devices. Dominic McGovern has the story. Piecing together a human body has long been fodder for fiction. The reality is science has become so alive that it can now three-dimensionally print human tissue. It's just one of the many results the Australian Centre for Electromaterial Science and its ally Advanced Manufacturing CRC hope to achieve by combining research and manufacturing in Wollongong. ACES Director Professor Gordon Wallace says the Alliance will further the groundbreaking research being undertaken and will direct it into industry. This partnership with CRC for Advanced Manufacturing will enable us to take our discoveries, very fundamental discoveries, through a very effective uh, integrated conduit uh, into the Australian manufacturing sector. Senator Kate Lundy says the University of Wollongong's research and industry partnerships will benefit the Australian economy. That cross-fertilisation of ideas and, and for applied uses of their research and their technology I think augurs really well, not just for jobs in Australia but for the kind of businesses we're going to need to keep our economy growing. Science fiction is fast becoming science fact. Technology is being used to print bones and tissues for human transplant testing. Hollywood may not have been so mad after all. Dominique McGovern, UOWTV. The University Vice-Chancellor, Professor Paul Wellings, is in his second year at Wollongong and we sat down with him to talk about what he expects to be a busy year. The, the biggest change that we'll see in the next couple of years is, is the way new technology actually comes in and, you know, if, if you're in doing a degree and you suddenly want a unit from Stanford or London or somewhere as part of your course, could you do that through an online experience and get it for credit here at Wollongong? At the moment you can't. I suspect within five years the idea that you'll be able to pick a best of breed degree and get a Wollongong degree but actually interact into modules around the world will be a straightforward, in the, in the same way as you can download apps from anywhere in the world, there's no reason why you can't download learning experiences like that. Discovery Days 2013 drew around 5,500 prospective students, all getting a taste of UOW life. We've got students from as far north as Tamworth, um, and then the rest are local schools. Tomorrow we've got schools from Wagga Wagga, we've got schools from Griffith, um, and as far south as Wodonga. Early feedback says more than 90% of the students improved their perception of the university and would consider studying here. It's O Week, and that means a chance to settle in before the academic year begins. The Centre for Student Engagement has a full week planned. We have a festival from 12 to 3 every day. Uh, so we have DJs, free entertainment, uh, the jazz band are coming in on the Tuesday. Uh, we also have a pool party that's going on on Tuesday afternoon at the Urak Pool. Wow, Wednesday looks like one not to miss. It's very exciting, we're having Space Cowboy come in. Um, he's been um, known to be on Australia's Got Talent. We have a contortionist, Ben DM, and she can manoeuvre herself into a small box. And we also have Psycho Sam, who's going to be a popping robotic dancer as well, so he's sure to entertain everybody. New students trying to set up home on a budget have some goodwill coming their way. Goodwill Hunting provides students with second-hand household goods to help make the move easier. It's to help students who are just coming in onto the campus to help them with their accommodation setting up. It's all very expensive for them, so the staff here and community members donate household appliances. You know, it's a nice way to know that there's people uh, thinking about them and thinking about their well-being and, you know, their happiness. And the students absolutely appreciate it. I mean, I get students saying, can I donate the stuff back when they leave, so. so the 1st of March, it's a Friday, it's open from 12 o'clock so students can come anytime after 12 o'clock and then on Saturday morning it's open, I think, from 9 till 4. And finally, the first of our question and answer series where we literally put you on the spot.
Have you heard of the student services and amenities fee? I've heard of it, yes. Um, I know what they are. Like, I know I'm paying them, but I don't really know what they're for or anything. Uh, kind of. I don't really know what it's about, but yeah, I've heard of it. Uh, all I really know is that we just had to pay another fee, and I'm not going to lie, I just chuck it straight on Hex. What kind of things would you like to see it spent on? Good question. Um, Coming from a creative arts background, I'd like to see it go into that, but um, I'm very biased, so... I know they put more computers into the library, actual better ones, rather than shitty laptops. Am I allowed to say that? Maybe into library opening times, maybe being a little bit later during session, just when it's not exam times. Maybe the lowering of coffees, which is really important. <laughs> I play squash, so I'd be keen for like cheaper squash courts. I think it'd be good to be spent on something that will um, help everybody rather than just a small group of students, but I don't really know what that is. And that's our first update of the year. I'm Jacob. Have a great O-Week.